Good afternoon, Team Navarre. Mr. Kylie here. This is going to be your Wednesday, April 29th. Sorry, April 29th, Little Dragon class. Okay, the goal today is going to work again. We worked on on Monday, but a little bit stronger. Add some different challenges. We're also going to add some workouts a little bit after we warm up. We're going to do some really cool bouncing and jumping drills to kind of work on our coordination, work on our leg strength so we can have stronger stances and stronger kicks. Uh, for that, all you'll need is if you have something like a belt, or if you have something, you can also be a folded up towel. So I'm just going to create a line for them to hop over back and forth. Okay. Again, the cool part is you don't have to have anything to hop over. They can just hop themselves if they would like to. But sometimes it's good to have that visual just to aid in what you're doing. All right. And feet together. Bow. Let's get warmed up real fast. Shake it up and down, side to side. Shake it up and down. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. A wacky Wednesday. A wild Wednesday. In and out. Do, 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 do. Reach up real tall on your tippy toes. Reach down real low. Find your toes again. And back. One, two, three, four. Reach up real tall. Remember, it's forms week. So we're working on explosive dragon. Stretch down. I'm going to teach you guys today how to do it tournament style. Because when we're able to get back in studio, at some point in time this year, we're going to have a tournament. When we have a tournament, I want you guys to be locked and ready and be able to do your, your explosive dragon extremely strong, just like we were doing it at a tournament. Okay, take a step out with your feet, stretch down. If you've ever done a tournament before, they're super fun. They're really competitive. They're a way, it's, just a, it's a fun way to test and see how awesome you've gotten, how much better you've gotten since you started, since last time. Switch sides. <clears throat> Bend your left knee. Switch sides. Bend your right knee. Lean towards it, balance on your feet like Spider-Man. Sit all the way down, pull the bottoms of your feet together, heels, toes, touching. Very good. We're going to work on counting to 10 in Korean as well. Repeat after me. Say, Ana, dual, set, net, toss it, use it, elgup, yudo, ahop, yo. Very good. Put your left leg out, stretch down and hold it. Grab onto it. Don't let it go, but make sure your knee's not bending to get there, okay? Switch sides. Reach down. See how my leg is super straight? If you can grab your toes, that's a really good sign of flexibility. But then your next goal is to pull that foot up off the ground gently and lightly. Just get that heel up. If you can't quite touch your toes, you can also challenge yourself by taking your foot and you can kind of wiggle your toes. And if you pull your foot back far enough, your heel should come up off the ground while your leg is staying straight and strong. Put both legs out in the front, reach down, body's still up, so your chest is up, your chin is up, and then from here, take your legs out as wide as you can get them. Remember, how, how far is too far when you're doing your splits? Do you remember? It's when your knees bend. If you're doing your splits and your knees are bent, that's just your, your body's way of saying, whew, that's a little too far. And so if you get to this, then you just want to pull them back in a little bit, and they'll flatten out straight, and that's what you want. Because our goal is to get them all the way out flat and straight. You have to start a little bit closer, doing it correctly the very best you can, and really stretching into it and feeling it so that every time you do that, it'll get a little bit better and a little bit wider and a little bit straighter. That's going to be the goal. Okay, over to the left side. And switch sides. Back to the middle, stretch forward. Very good. Push yourself forward just a little bit more so you can get that stretch just a little bit tighter. Lean down one more time. Good. Pull your legs all the way in. Shake them out. Excellent job. Stretch down. Super. Okay. So ready to so all the way up. So let's work some jumping jacks first to get moving. All right. We're going to do 10. Nice and easy. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Remember your legs just going out and in. Hands going up and down. Staying with me. Ready? And go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now I'm gonna real fast grab a belt or just something, one of our long jump ropes. Okay, something I can hop over. If you don't have anything to hop over, that's okay. Just kind of pay close attention to your feet. The goal is to 
just wherever you want to find a spot. And when you jump, you want to jump from one side to the other of that spot. So you can also just look at the ground and do it that way. Or as long as your body's moving side to side, you don't really need anything to jump over. So if I don't, I don't have to be over the rope, I can just be like this, right? I can just get my feet moving. But that's the goal is to keep your feet moving and keep them together. All right, we're going to do 10. That's going to be our challenge. Ready, dragons? Make sure you keep your balance and keep your feet together. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to start. Now what you do is you take the thing on the ground. If you have one, you'll turn it sideways just like that. Now we're going to go over and back. The trick to this, you have to be kind of careful because you still want to keep your feet together. But want to make sure that if we jump too far, it's going to be really hard to get back over. So you want to jump far enough to make sure you don't touch whatever's on the ground if there is something on the ground. But then also stay close enough to get right back. Again, we're only doing 10. So we're going to take our time and make sure each jump is balanced and each jump is strong. Ready? And go. Keep your hands by your chin. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now last one, we're going to have kind of a bigger challenge. We're going to work on doing both of those things at the same time. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to turn it like that. If you have another something, you can put it with it. It's okay if you don't, though. And it's going to go here. It's going to make an X, right? So now I'm going to goal is to go from side to side. And then from the side, I'm going to jump backwards. And after this backwards, I'm going to jump forwards. And then I'm going to jump right back to the side. So we'll kind of we'll walk it slow. I'll show you. And again, if you don't have something to jump over, you can just get your feet moving in this pattern. That's fine. Ready? So you're here. You jump over. Then you jump forwards. Then you jump backwards. Then you jump to the side again. And that's one complete cycle. All right? So it goes one, two, three, four. All right? We're going to try to do that five times. We're going to take a pause right when we finish each one, though. All right? So ready? Stay with me. Jump to the side forward, backwards, to the side. That's one. Every time we do it, we're going to pick up speed just a little bit. Ready? And number two, go. Trying to keep your feet together. Try to keep your knees pinched. That was two. Now we're on to three. Ready? Go. All right. Now we're on to four. It's okay to look where you're going. Last one. Make it your best one. Oops. And go. Very good. Just having a little bit of fun with it. Okay, so next thing we're going to jump into key my stance. We're going to do our very best with our key my stance. Hands are in, nice and strong. Back is straight and tall, knees are bent. Try to get those toes forward, feel balanced. Make sure when you make a fist, real fast, make a fist for me. Take your fingers, pull them together, roll them down two times. If you look at them, you shouldn't be able to see your fingernails. So if you look like this and you can see your fingernail, if you hit something, you could hurt your finger. So it's important to bend it one time real tight and then fold them in, tuck them under like that. So your fingertips are hiding, all right? And then your thumb, does your thumb go on the inside? No, because there's no space, right? If you tucked it in nice and tight, there's nowhere for your thumb to go. So your thumb doesn't go here, it goes here. It's actually holding, it's like a lever. It's holding your fingers in nice and tight. If you think like a roller coaster when the, the big um, latch comes out and the seat belt comes out on the roller coaster and it holds everything in, that's kind of the same thing your thumb is doing. Hands in nice and tight. Put your left hand out really strong. One punch to the middle, wait for me. Bend down nice and low and go. Very good snap, ready, go. Excellent job. When you punch, try to make sure if you look at your punch, right when you do it at the end of it, your knuckles should be forward. So you want to make sure there's a straight line. I'll turn my hand to the side. So there's a straight line from here to here. So make sure when you punch, it's not this. It's straight. Very good. And try again. Straight. Look at it. Is it straight? Very good. One more time. Do it again on this side. Slow motion on the left side. Slow motion. So this hand's coming back to my chin. When this hand's going out, you're keeping those elbows down nice and tight. Try not to chicken wing those elbows. Keep it down nice and tight. Other hand. Punch. Where are your knuckles? Should be going pointing where you're going. Straight forward just like that. Two punches one time. Ready? Go. One, two. Without short arming that punch. One more time. Get lower. Get lower. Got to remember that key. My stance has to be strong the whole time. And go. One, two. Excellent job. Feet together. Bow. Super. So we're going to work through explosive dragon one time. We're going to add the advanced dragon part onto it. And then after we practice and just get our form warmed up, we're going to go into how to do the form tournament style and what that means. Okay. And bow. It's about to say martial arts. America. Good. Explosive. Dragon. Step back with your right foot. Very good. Hands up. Ah, yeah. What stance is this called? Do you remember? 
It's called guard stance. Guard means to defend or to keep yourself safe, to protect yourself. So if I say step back into guard stance, your foot goes back, your body turns sideways, your hands come up by your chin, right? And back fist, make sure your back fist is up and down because you're hitting with this part. Okay, and then punch. And then what do you do with your back foot when you punch? I'll show you from the side real fast. You tell me, back fist, when I punch, what happens to my foot? It has to turn, it has to twist. Okay, if you do it like on the, on the you can hear it on the floor kinda, when it turns, right? It makes that sound good. That means it's turning, it's called a pivot, right? So I punch and I pivot and my knuckles are forward like we practiced. Now I have to throw in axe kick. Show me an axe kick, put it back where you got it and then what kind of block? It's a letter of the alphabet, it's X, X block. Where, how are your fingers? Look at them, are they spread or are they together? Hopefully they're together, that keeps them safe. And then we drop down, you punch with your right hand, punch with your left hand, and then both hands come back nice and strong, and then I push straight out. Yeah! Make sure you, when you do that, go ahead and pay close attention to your fingers. Again, kind of like your X block, when you do this move here, your fingers are flat out. You can also curl them in, because you're trying to hide them, as long as you're not like this, as long as there's no space. If I'm like that, or this, there's still no space between my fingers. So that's why I'm here, okay? I can also be here. And from there, we're going to stand up, the advanced dragon part, axe kick again, but land it in the front quietly. So now your right leg is in the front. It's closer to me. And then from here, we throw the double strike again. Ayah! And then we step forward, cross our arms, block our head, same X block again, pull down strong. Ayah! And the last move of your form is always the loudest and strongest move. Okay, it's kind of like an exclamation point. If you don't know what that is, we'll teach you later. Very right, good. And finish it out. Say little dragon team. Hit the mic. Sorry. Very good. Okay, so bow. So tournament style, you probably saw that on your challenge sheet. What tournament style means is you're performing it with the same focus, the same intensity that you would show at a tournament. Sometimes when we're practicing our form in class here, we do it a little bit slower and a little bit with a, little, with a lot of focus, but we don't do it quite as loud and quite as strong. So we're trying to really make sure we're getting the moves right. Okay, when you get to a tournament, you want to make sure the moves are correct because you've been practicing so you can pick up your key up power, so you're, you're, you're being stronger with your voice, you're being really focused with your face to kind of show how excited you are and how, how strong you are through your face and then your body, your moves are as strong as you can do them. Okay, so we're going to practice our form as strong as we can do it. We're going to key up on every move. Tiger face is locked in nice and strong. Your focus is everywhere. Ready? Feet together, sir. I'm going to say you heard that. Try again. Feet together, sir. Got to hear it, got to see it, got to feel it. Ready? Bow. It's about to say martial arts. Loud and strong. America. Good. Explosive. Dragon. Tiger face on. Ayah. Good. Ready? And key up on every single move. And it's not a long key up. It's a fast and strong key up. Your key up should last as long as your move does. So instead of ayah. That's too long. It's got to be ayah. As fast as your back fist is. It's as fast as your key up is. Ready? And back fist. Ayah. And punch. Ayah. Very good. Hands up by your chin. Axe kick. Ayah. Tiger face is still on. X block. Ayah. Drop down. Punch right and left. Ayah. And then last move's the loudest move. So you breathe in deep through your nose. Then strong out through your mouth. Ayah. Last move. That one you can extend that one just a little bit because it's the last move. Go ahead. And then if you're an advanced dragon, you stand back up. And then you axe kick again. Ayah. And then. Double strike out, oh, yeah. last move, cross it, pull down, oh, yeah. good, feet together, finish it out, little dragon team. Now what else happens at a tournament okay, to, to do your form, because there may be a couple of students that are in your division, it may not just be you, right? Hopefully there's a couple of your friends there, and so all of you guys would go one person at a time, and when you get up to the judges to present yourself, there may be judges that I know, but it may not be me. And so you have to make sure, that, and even if it is, you have to make sure for us to score you and kind of see who the winner is. We have to know what your name is, your first name and your last name. We have to know where you're from, which studio. We also have to know what form you're doing. So we know how to create it. So we're also going to go ahead and learn how to do that. Okay, you, you, know your words. you know your first name and last name. Okay, the studio you're from, you repeat after me, say Martial Arts America, Team Navarre. Okay, we're from Navarre. This is Martial Arts America. So you'd say Martial Arts America, Team Navarre. And then from there, your form, let's name your form, Explosive Dragon. Very good. Okay, so we're going to work that real fast. So what you will do, kind of if, if I'm the judge, I'm going to present to you, you're going to present back to me. So we'll do it together. Okay, so if we go together, bow, 
step out into key, into key my stance, into guard stance, go, yeah, just like this. Knuckles are in front. You've got to stay very still, right? If you're strong like this, but then when you start talking, you start moving your body and grabbing your belt, it can be very distracting. So you have to be super focused and locked in tight. Good. And say judges, because that's who you're talking to. Say, my name is, and then what's your first name? And what's your last name? My name is Justin Kiley. What is your name? Good. Now say, from Martial Arts America, Team Navarre. I would like to present Explosive Dragon. So you said your name, where you're from, and what you're doing. Okay, at that point, the judges will either nod, or they'll say, go ahead, or they'll give you the go ahead. And you go, feet together, you bow, and you back up two steps. How many steps? Two. You back up, one, two. Take a deep breath. You bow one more time, and then you go through Explosive Dragon as strong as you can possibly do it. You're only going to do it once, so make sure that one time is as strong as you can possibly do it. All right, so let's try all that together again and do our form. Ready? i got to make sure I hear you when we do that form. Feet together. Bow. St step out, hands in the front. Go, ah yeah. Go ahead and say, judges. Repeat after me. Say, my name is. Then say your first name. And say your last name. Go ahead and say, from Martial Arts America, Team Navarre. I would like to present Explosive Dragon. Very good. Feet together. Bow. Take two steps back. One, two. Keep your tiger face on. Breathe. Breathe out. Bow again. And go. Martial Arts America. Explosive Dragon. Step back. Ah, yeah. Strong. And we're just going to do it together. Stay with me. Ready? Go. I'm going to hear your key ops. I'm not key so I can hear yours. Good. Feet together. Finish it out. Little dragon team. Excellent job. So practice that, especially the words. You guys have that form locked in tight, but definitely practice those words and kind of how you say them in what order so that that part is as strong as your form is, right? And make sure you do the very best you can. Next thing we're going to do in class, we're going to move on to doing our self-defense on both sides and making sure we know how and why we're doing it that way, right? So we're going to go back to that ready stance, almost like we were presenting for the judges, right? And then from here, we're going to step back and then our hands go over our head doing the X block. Make sure they cross. Make sure your eyes go up. If something like a noodle or a hammer fist or if something's coming down towards you, you want to make sure you step back to have balance. And you want to make sure your hands go up over your head so they can stop it from hitting your head. That's the trick to it, right? If something's coming down on you, if you don't look up, you're not going to be able to block it. And then also, if your hands go on your head, you're still going to feel it. Good. Try this real fast, right? Take your hand and just put it on your head like this. Now, not hard, but take your hand and tap yourself on the hand. Did your head still feel it? It probably did, right? Now, take your hand and put it over your head like that. Now, take your other hand and tap your arm. Did your head feel it? No, and that's the goal. It's safe now, right? If you're going to protect your head, you have to make sure your arms aren't on them or behind them. They're out in front of them, and there's got to be a space, okay? So make that space. Hands go up. Good, your, left, your front hand, whatever foot stayed in the front, whichever foot didn't move, that hand stays up. The other hand pulls back like a bow and arrow, and then it punches out. Yeah. And then from there, both hands now can come down because you back to the person up, so you can now throw your axe kick. Nice and strong. Arms start knocking. Good, so one more time on that side. Step back, block, punch him in the belly button, that makes him go, and then you do your axe kick right to the back of their head. Ready? Go. Boom. Very good. Other side. And step back now, the other, so everything switches. So your left foot goes back, both hands go up, your right hand stays on it, your left hand pulls back, your left hand punches. What does that back foot do when you punch? It pivots, right? Just like in your form, both hands come in, and then you axe kick up and down. Make sure when you axe kick, your hands are staying in by your chin, right? They're not flying out to get extra distance. They gotta stay up nice and tight. So one more time on this side, step back with your left foot, Hands go up, pull your left hand back, leave up your right hand, punch, pull both hands down, axe kick. Okay, now last time, we're going to do it one more time on this side, then one more time on that side, and we'll move on to our choke defense. Okay, so step back with your right foot. One, two, three. Picking up the speed a little bit to see if you can do a little bit faster and a little bit stronger while still staying intense. Now the other side, ready? One, two, three. 
just like that. Now again, when you work your axe kick, your challenge is to make it fast, to make it high, to make it strong, but notice when I land the axe kick down, it's not slamming on the ground, and that's super important. You can have a really fast axe kick and still control it and just set it down on the ground. That keeps your legs safe. That keeps them from hurting the bottoms of your feet, especially if you're practicing on, like a, on a hardwood or a tile. If the ground isn't very soft that you're practicing on, if you're slamming your feet into the ground, it's gonna hurt later. So you make sure you don't do that. Right? You gotta make sure it's fast swinging, but then it slows down before it gets to the ground. That takes some practice. So now we're gonna work on your choke defense, kind of the same thing, working both sides real quick. Knuckles are in the front. Same position like we presented our form in, right? This is called ready stance. If I ever say go to ready position, this is where you go. Good. If I ever say to go to position number three, this is also where you go. Good. This is position number one. This is position number two. Position number three is here. Okay? So that's kind of your pop quiz there. If I say go to position number three, you're locked in a little like this. If I ever say go to ready position, you're here. If I say go to guard stance, where do you go? If I say go to key my stance, where do you go? Right, hands in. If I say go to ready stance, where do you go? Very good. I know we're kind of throwing some curveballs in there. Just going to do the best you can to follow along. We're going to have a good time with it, okay? All right. So now from here, we're going to work on your choke defense. Again, if the hands come to you, and the cool part about this one is you can smack their arms out of the way before their arms get to you. So if somebody tries to reach to do the grab or to do the choke, or if their hands are just getting way too close to you, I don't have to wait until their arms actually get on me before I try to swing up and knock their arms out of the way. Right? If their hands are just moving towards me and I see them before they get to me, I can smack them up so they don't ever get onto my throat. That would be probably the best thing to do. Okay, and so if then you swing up, you're trying to hit behind the elbow where it's soft and squishy, not on the elbow where it's hard, that's going to hurt you. Behind it where it's soft and squishy will hurt them, which is the goal, not to hurt yourself. So I swing up, then your left foot, this side is going to step towards me, step to me, your hands go out, just like in your form, right? Your hands go out and sideways, you're not trying to push their belly away from like that, that's not going to work for you. So you turn it and it strikes out. Then your hands come in, your leg comes up, and you kick out with the bottom of your foot. Remember, it's not an axe kick, it's a back leg front kick. So I'm kicking to the front. It should kind of feel like your punch did. Your punch came in, it went out in a straight line, and it came straight back. Your front kick came up, it went out in a straight line, and it came right back. Okay? So a front kick is kind of like a punch with your foot. So I swing up, I step out, push out, sideways hands. Hands come up, snap out your kick nice and strong. So now we're going to try the other side, all right? So same motion here. I swing up just like this. Now your right foot steps towards me. I swing and strike my hands out. My left leg comes up and strikes out. So let's try that one more time, right? So as the choke comes in, I swing up and knock the fingers and hands out of the way. I step forward with my right foot, move it out of the way just like that. And then from there, I take my hands up, I pick it up, I kick out nice and strong. All right, and let's do one more time on each side to make sure we're paying attention. So we're going to go back to the normal side. That means this is the leg that steps towards me. So swing it up, take your left foot, that's that one over there, step towards me, come together, strike away, pay close attention to your hands being sideways. Hands come up, kick with the bottom of your foot. So you can see my toes in the camera. Make sure you're showing me the bottom of your foot. You can see the bottom of my foot. So when you kick, I want to see the bottom of your foot, not your toes. Okay, so one more time on the other side. So now this leg is going to step towards me. Ready? Swing up. Step towards me. Strike away. Both hands come in nice and tall. Leg comes up and it swings outwards, right? So we proud that just to double check. We worked on explosive dragon. We even did the advanced dragon part of it too. Okay, we worked on doing it tournament style. I and mean, when we do tournament style, what are the three things we have to say? Our name, first name and last name, where we're from, Martial Arts America, Team Navarre, and then also, I'm sorry, yeah, and then what you're doing, which is explosive dragon. So make sure when you do the presentation part, your name, where you're from, and what you're doing. And then you're strong, your tiger face is on, you speak with confidence, we don't have to yell at the judges, you can just speak strongly, you have a lot of good strong bows, and you do your form with a lot of intensity and a lot of focus, keyopping on every move, locking in that tiger face on your techniques. When you finish your form, you should be out of breath, you should be sweaty maybe a little bit, you should be tired, you should be breathing heavy. That's kind of the goal. If you, if you finish your form and you did as strong as you can and you're, and you're still good to go and you're not tired even a little bit, 
you can probably do it stronger next time. That's going to be my challenge for you guys. Okay, good work today. That's going to wrap up all the stuff we have. We, it is Forms Week. We have those Champions Challenge, the Points Challenge kind of papers out and locked and loaded. If you guys have any questions on how to do those things that were on the list, let me know. Okay, doing your form with your eyes closed, of course, just doing the form with your eyes closed. Good. Doing your in a square is kind of the dragon should be locked and loaded with that because they kind of stay within that bubble the entire time anyway. So that should be almost automatic for you. Uh, and then we have the, the team forms with the parents where you, they're, you're kind of doing their form with them, and they also have the musical form, the creative form, where they're making up their own techniques. Uh, students are, the younger students are wonderful students because they're so imaginative, so I like to see their creative energy and kind of they can either take parts of techniques that they've seen in class or they can take you know moves that they've learned from television or movies or video games, and they can add that to that creative form and just kind of make up something that you know we've never seen before, something that came from, from their brain and they put it out into the world would be kind of awesome, right? And feet together, bow. That's going to wrap class up today. If you are doing the Black Belt Training side class, that is coming up next. So make sure you guys stay tuned. If not, you have a wonderful Wednesday.